Hey guys, uh, my name is Abed Faruqi. I'm with Civil Light Aviation. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions. Uh, we get asked these questions about what goes inside our tail. It's a pretty expensive part and uh, people uh, are surprised uh, why is this particular part more expensive? What, what is in there that makes it more expensive? Um, and how is the tail made anyway? So uh, I'm just going to explain really quick how the tail is made and what goes into it uh, so that people understand in general. So the tail, uh, this is our new tail, but what, what is happening in this tail is we have our top half, vertical, vertical and horizontal stabilizer. We have a bottom half right here. And then we have something, these two things combined together and we have a central, uh, what I call the rib section, but it's essentially a stiffener that goes in there. And you can see it has foam core in, in there. So there is three molds involved in making one mold just for the top half, one for the bottom. Third mold is for making this part. And actually there's a fourth mold that's a smaller mold that makes this lip that we glue onto the bottom half. So what is this lip right here? When we take this top half and we put it on there, there has to be a lip that connects both of these. And this lip is where we put structural glue, methacrylate glue uh, that goes on here and also on the back side that when we close the mold, when we put these things back in the mold and close it, that's the glue that's holding the top and bottom half tail together, making a sandwich. So think of it as a sandwich, bottom, top, and the, this uh, stiffener in the middle. So what is going on in each one of these parts, if you come here, uh, we can see it, is we have layer layer of composite glass on the bottom, two layers. Then we have a foam core, very uh, high density foam core. And then we have a top glass and then it is infused with resin. And uh, that is one section. So if, if I just lift it up with just like my two fingers, it's stiff enough to hold its own uh, pretty well. And it's fairly stiff as it is by itself without even having all the sandwich go together. Same thing with the top half. If I just lift it with this two fingers here and two fingers here like this, it's very light and stiff. So it's the same construction if we notice down here, you can see the same foam core and the sandwich for foam, composite and composite down there. And these are mill spec uh, glass uh, 7781 that we use in there. So it's a military spec uh, composite material, not just like your board glass. Uh, so that's what we use. In the uh, rib section, we use both carbon fiber and composite and foam together. Now, once these things are dry, they're put together with the methacrylate glue, which is a structural glue. It's stronger than the substrate, meaning the glue will actually not come apart. It will tear the layers of fiberglass apart before it gives up. That's what sticks this in here. And then we put more bead of it on this flange and on the back side. And then we take the top half and put it on there. So it's bottom, center rib, and the top half together. And it goes in the mold. Here is the mold for the bottom. There is a mold for the top and the mold closes on it and it compresses it and then we let it, let it uh, sit overnight. And when it comes out, it's very structural, light and stiff part. That's how the tail is made. It takes literally four days to make it. Uh, not all of it is labor, but you have to wait. So it takes up a lot of uh, space and time to make that part and it is carrying air loads in the air. So it's not something that you want to mess around with uh, because it is literally a part that carries structural loads, uh, flight loads. All right, this is Abed and for Civil Light Aviation, if you guys have any other questions, uh, uh, email us at info at civillightaviation.com.